another lick of the week. This is Banjophobic again. Uh, this is be the last lick for the month of June. And since I'm doing melodic licks, I thought I'd go ahead and throw one on you that's probably one of the most easily recognized melodic licks of the last decade or so. And this lick gets some of its tonality from some chromatic intervals. You know, sometimes melodic style is called chromatic style, which is not an accurate description. Chromatic refers to notes being half step apart, and we know from experience that you can't play too many of those notes together or you get pretty bad sounding ideas. So you have to be judicious with how you use chromatic intervals in licks. Melodic style depends mainly on major scale stuff, as we talked about before. But by adding some chromatic notes to an otherwise normal scale, you get some pretty cool ideas. So if you take, say, these last intervals from a major G scale, G, I'm sorry, C, D, E, F sharp, G, and you start going chromatic, which means adding a note that's a half step away from the note that's supposed to be in the scale, and adding that to the notes that are already present, you get a G scale that's been modified with chromatic intervals. So C, D, E, F sharp, G is now going to become C sharp, D, F, F sharp, and G. And you notice by doing that, I gain a really nice uh, bluesy melodic lick that most people can hear but not identify. So if you already play some melodic scales, major and pentatonic, one way you can spice up your playing is to add some chromatic intervals that you don't already experiment with. So let me play the lick again, and I want to show you how the lick functions, maybe use it an example in a tune. Here's the lick itself. Alright. What we're going to do is start with the C sharp note at the fifth fret of the third string. Use whatever finger of your left hand you want, and you can begin with the index or the thumb of the right hand. I'm going to start with the thumb. And I'm going to play 3 1. Switch to this chromatic interval here, F, F sharp and play a forward roll, two, one, five. So back to the beginning, three, one, which is chromatic, F sharp, F, G, which gives you another chromatic interval. Now I'm going to lose the F sharp note. So now no more chromatic dissonant ideas. It's all going to be straight lace from here. Three, one, I'm sorry, three, one, two, one, five, two, one, five, two, one. So I've just overlapped a couple of forward rolls while I hold an F note. And I'm still using the same finger, sixth fret of the second string. But you, again, you can use whatever finger you like. Three, one, two, one, five, two, one, five, two, one. Now I'm going to switch fingers. And I could have kept my ring finger down, but I'm going to switch to the middle. Index on this C note at the 5th fret of the 3rd string. And I'm going to switch this F note, and we'll switch fingers, and go to my middle finger. But again, use whatever fingers work for you. And I'm going to switch rolls now. I have This is a partial F chord. 3, 2, 1, 3, 2, open. So here's the beginning of the lick. 3, 1...
please experiment with it. Try different finger combinations. Try different rolls. Learn the lick verbatim if you can because you'll gain insights from that. And then once you've established that you can play the lick verbatim, then try going off on different tangents and see if you can, you know, experiment with rolls, different finger placements. And I guarantee you'll come up with some really great variations. So let me use it in the context of some kind of tune and you'll hear maybe how I would use it.